off. A little slow to stride autumn flight in desert boots as Bezza's lad and Bang on the Bell are the first two to show. Jupiter Express just hustled up to get a position in the black and orange. Machine Murphy's comeback ride on the inside of the orange jacket of this my dream. El Hombre on the fence in green with the white star, green and white hoops in the nose band, Muskika and Magical Max is the grey out wide. And the back two are Autumn Flight and Desert Boots and that wide draw rose doors crossed to the rail was slightly impeded there, leaving the back straight uh, seemingly by Autumn Flight and is pushed along. So on the home turn. Bang on the bell on the outside of Bezza's Lad. In third place is This My Dream and staying to the inside Jupiter Express as they corner. Moose Kicker El Hombre comes next just ahead of Magical Max as they spin the turn. Just over two furlongs to go. Bezza's Lad staying to the inside is Jupiter Express now beginning a challenge for Rasheen Murphy. Then This My Dream behind these Moose Kicker is trying to run on. Jupiter Express has a narrow lead and a furlong to last. Moose Kicker and El Hombre to the right, to the left Bezza's Lad and This My Dream who looks the most potent threat at the moment. Moment. Jupiter Express, this my dream, about a neck down as they head in for the final 50 yards. Jupiter Express for Oshin Murphy is going to make a triumphant return. Jupiter Express for Oshin Murphy and the Horse Watchers. Mick Appleby doing the training. This My Dream was in second. Uh, racing in third place behind those on the inside was Moose Kika from El Hombre and Mustafiz. Former champion, he's back with a bang. Oshin Murphy, first ride back and straight into the winner's enclosure aboard Jupiter Express. Played out perfectly for the winner who got that slot just in behind the pace set by Bezza's lad. And the front three have uh, pulled nicely enough clear of the remainder. Inform horse is very much coming to the fore here, but he travelled nicely just in behind that gallop. And it opened up as had been hooked as they turned into the straight and he got a nice clear shot at things, knuckled down well enough and was always holding this my dream who had got a little bit of a wider trip pushed out by Bezza's lad as they came off the bend and it just opened up perfectly for Jupiter Express. Misika just having to switch towards the inside, he's run well enough um, without his penalty for last time out. He is better off when he's able to dominate really and um, if he gets in that scenario, he's still going to be competitive. El Hombre sticking to his task on the inside, but Jupiter Express, um, a well-run race over six is ideal for him, and uh, Sheen having him in the perfect spot, I think, Angus, and I'm sure he'll be very happy to have made a winning return and got that straight out of the way. We'll catch up with him shortly. Yeah, well done, Chris, to, to yourself, the horse watchers, Mick Appleby, and O'Sheen Murphy. There he is coming back on Jupiter Express. Got a dream trip round. Tracking the pace set by Bezas Lad from his inside drawer installed two. It opened up beautifully down on the inside and he got an uninterrupted uh, run through and then he looked very slick in the finish as always, George. Yeah, he had the perfect trip, Angus. Quick in the stride, Bezas Lad from stall seven under Alistair Rawlison. Gradually tracked over just at the five final marker there and you could see O'Sheen's just half horse was off the rail, li little bit keen in his hands but when Bezza's lad sort of rolled over to the rail, going around the bend, he got into a good rhythm, and it's a perfect chance of a trip. We've seen this well-trodden path. Bezza's lad rolled off the bend, and Oshin was able to sort of keep things nice and smooth. And we would just ha highlight the fact that Angus, how fluent Oshin was with his stick. Um, under a right-hand drive, he flicked it through very quickly. He's just a, an amazing talent in a saddle, isn't he? He sure is. This is where it's going to get the split up the rail. It opens up beautifully for him as Bezza's lad hangs on the bend. It allows him to get a lovely, a lovely run through. And what you were describing was his whip in his right hand. There it is. And then, about 100 yards out, he switches it to his left hand. As smooth as silk, really quick switch of whip hand. There it goes. And he's then able to use it in his left hand to repel uh, the runner-up. This is my dream. He rallied well in second, but wasn't good enough. And that, just switching that whip to... His left hand, and his horse just found that little bit extra. Yeah, he was, you could see him there, he got his horse to switch his leads, turning off that home bend, which is a very important thing to do. A couple of flicks in the backhand. I'm, I've, he's been using the JCP there. and myself at Oaksy House, and he's very, very sort of race ready. But um, just seeing him in full flight, he's, you can see why he's been champion jockey a handful of times, and he's an excellent jockey. And I'm sure all his trainers and owners that use him on a regular basis will be very, very pleased to see him back with such fluency. Yeah, and he'll be delighted as well, of course. And they've been dreaming of coming back with a winner, and he's done just that. On the favourite here, uh, Jupiter Express. Everything went well, but um, 
had to work for it, I had to work hard in the finish because this Mad Dreams run well in second place under Taylor Fisher. And back in third was Musica, who, without the penalty for his recent win, has run well under uh, Jason Watson. Switching his whip to his left hand, due to express finds a bit more. There he is, coming back in. No doubt to delighted owners. And hopefully we'll get to hear from Oshin before he uh, jets off. I think he's going to Qatar, so before he jets off there, I think, later this evening. Let's get the SP. 15 to 8 favour, Jupiter Express. This is my dream, 12 to 1. Music was 6 to 1 in third. Time. This is a six furlong time. 1.42 outside, so 0.24 furlong per furlong um, outside. And at uh, 1.11.72, that's a pretty good time.